There they are. They are on. <laughs> that poor camera. They are on. <laughs> they're on Facebook. Everybody bails out on me, right? When Sorry. I'm like, oh, I gotta push all the buttons. <laughs> I apologize. So, so I, I wanna I wanna thank you guys for taking the time to come on. I I jokingly uh, uh, said to you guys, I. I have a hard time thinking my insurance agent is 13 and Freedom Mortgage they are not. You guy see. is 12, right? You know? <laughs> no. It's because I'm old, but they have to think he's really View insurance often commenting on the 93Q page yep. and during live feeds, and so it's really good to see to put a name to or a face to the name. Very there beautiful face, by the way. Thank um, you. <laughs> so, but that it's really nice. So, thank you for supporting 93Q yeah. because course, I see you guys all the time. Now, yeah. I met Mariah through Jeremy. Mm -hmm. We were at an event. I don't remember. It was a, it was a for. It was a. I think it was a it chamber was a event. And you said it was Antero's that, that's it. first it ribbon was. cutting for their yeah, new that's office. That's right. A couple years ago. That's right. Yeah. And um, and you know I've known Jeremy since he actually was twelve. I think I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, if, if you don't know this, he is a phenomenal drummer. I'm just trying to figure out how Not I can anymore. get him in a band, right? Well, you're like Pablo. If you don't do it, you lose your chops. But you never forget. You, know, you go back. Comes back quick. And um, uh, I didn't know that, uh, what you were doing the last time I had talked to you. You were working somewhere, and I didn't remember. And then I went over to see Mariah, and it was uh, the flag thing that you guys mm -hmm. do. Our flag day. And, um, and so, you know, yeah, awesome. over a course of time, I kind of got to know you better. And I said, I don't know how I saw, I saw his picture. He had a card there. And he said, he's right next door. And I went, what? He's right next door. So I got a chance to go over and kind of reconnect with you. It's meant and, to be. And then found wow. out what you guys were doing. And I I just love this. I, I, I affectionately call you young guns. You guys are the ones that are taking over where we're going. How do we do this? If, if I want insurance, how do we do this? And, and you're a broker, right? So it's not just a insurance company you can help people by finding different things that would more fit them that's correct and, and then my son pablo just refinanced with freedom mortgage he saw, I saw his picture on facebook he's all happy they got the dog ziggy they're like standing <laughs> and then one of that's your right. uh, one of your guys is over there so i didn't realize that so what ended up happening and i gotta kind of do this right is i didn't know you were in charge of that I, isn't there like a law you have to be at He's, least 20? It, <laughs> in charge is stretching it, Bob. Is it? <laughs> There's always a neck that turns the head, right? Oh, is it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I'm really grateful that my point is that you guys took the time. I know you're both very busy and took the time to come on. So we talk a little bit about home ownership and, and then how to take care of that home this mm -hmm. morning. So. So how do the two of you join forces or explain to the listeners? Because you're in two totally different fields, mm -hmm. but you're working together. So for they anybody that like each other, yeah. I had to talk them into this. <laughs> it's <was> tough. <laughs> um, I made an exception. So <laughs> with insurance, um, we work with different referral partners so mm -hmm. uh, or centers of influence um, companies or people that are, are easy to refer to right. or that they refer to us. Um, so we work with a lot of uh, the top lenders here in the Yubasutter area, and we had the opportunity to meet Jeremy right as he was starting his career. Fresh pup. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we knew he was going to be very successful. Um, that was actually a comment th that I made right after meeting you. Um, it was he was hungry. And he was willing to do the work. <laughs> he had that, and, I have a wife and kids got to pay the bills look. Well, and, and we were talking off air about yeah. also having what it takes, not just the work ethic, but also caring about people. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and wanting to actually serve people and not just your paycheck and your bank account. Yeah, so Jeremy was very likable. And then uh, we just started to, to get to know each other <laughs> uh, more and more. And, you know, now we're friends and um, friends with his lovely, lovely wife, Shay. Is she oh. awesome or oh my gosh. what? The backbone, right? Yeah, I'm, 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 That's the neck that turns the head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, <laughs> so, some guys just fall into it, right? It's like, oh, that one? <laughs> it's like, that, that works for I me. Knew, I knew she was the right one when she said, I'm, I know I want to date you, but I will wait until whenever you're ready or if you ever are ready. And I was like... That's a woman oh. with, oh, yeah. with great wisdom. So yeah, I talk to, to women all the time. They'll say, I, I knew I was going to marry him. I knew I was going to. Very rarely do I have a guy say, I know that was the one. But it does happen, right? But yeah. it's mostly the women. They go, yeah, I knew. 
Mm. It's like the guy's like, do, 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 do. <laughs> it's like, you like me? So, 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 so you guys have partnered up, right? And so I, I need to ask you, are there other uh, people and organizations that you guys are partnered with in, in relationally? Because you guys have a relationship that's, that's first, like you said, you became friends, mm -hmm. but you have a business one. Are there others that are kind of in your group, your sphere of in influence? Yeah, okay. for like, for us, like I said, Mariah, she really uh, leverages the relationships and knows the people and builds those relationships with people like myself and other lenders in town mm -hmm. um, where we are connecting with the people and we're the ones that can refer and, uh. and bring Mariah's name up. For me as a lender, a lot of times that comes from realtors in town, uh, people, uh. people who are out there connecting, meeting with a new client who's fresh out in the field. Um, maybe bought a home in the past or have never bought before and they say hey we'd love for you to call Jeremy you know we have past relationship we know um, he closes things on time and, and does a great job of taking he care of you. actually does his job. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> That's funny but it can be yeah. true. It, buying it a is. home buying a home and then insuring it and take it I tell mm. people it's way more than buying a lawnmower you know what I mean? You buy the home, really? you're, you're getting just the lawnmower, like, just... you got to get all this other stuff. It's like crazy. So you want the experience to be a good experience, and you want to feel like the people that are working with you are working with you. Absolutely. And you have so to trust could, them. Yeah. I mean, I have to trust Mariah when I send over, knowing that Mariah is truly fitting in with the best options, taking care of them, and they know if I referred Mariah that it's all an overall great experience. Mm -hmm. It reflects on me, same as realtors when they send business to me. They know it reflects on that entire transaction. Mm -hmm. So, it, yeah, obviously it matters a lot. If, I, if I'm a first-time buyer, I'm sure there are programs, but if I'm a first-time driver and I go to get insurance, it's higher. Oh, is, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> so is there, I know this sounds like a ridiculous question, but I have to ask it. If I'm a first-time home buyer, is my insurance cost more? No, no. So, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, he's question, an idiot. Yeah. He's probably going to burn the house down, so <laughs> we got to charge him more. I mean, it's like he's trying to fry that turkey you know, yeah, in the so, kitchen. So one of the rating factors on auto insurance is years of driving experience. Yeah. Um, so obviously when you're young, you don't you don't have that yet, and you're going to have to work up to it. Um, with the home ownership, no. Um, we are, we're going to find out when you purchased it. Um, actually, you get a little bit of a discount. Mm. Um, if you're a, a quote-unquote new home buyer, you, you've just purchased purchase this home and, and the secret behind that is we know it's gone through an inspection so we're hoping most right. of the issues oh, were, were yeah, fixed yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but actually new home buyers are one of my favorites to work with because we love to educate our clients on hey, you know you're buying this policy what the heck does it cover and we yeah. really like to take people who just haven't been through that process before and help them understand you know, what the insurance is for and when you might be able to use it so uh, another thing right along the same lines for both of you is mm -hmm. if I go to buy a home, like my home was built in 1969, right? Which is two years after I graduated and the year I went in the military. I right? thought that's when you were born. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> uh, and so, so, so Lies. home age, does home age have a difference in purchasing and a difference in, in insurance? So on the insurance yeah, side, yes. Insurance. Um, so the older the, the home is, we're going to ask a lot more questions like updates. Mm. You know, has somebody updated the heating, the electrical, plumbing, roof? Yes, yes. So you know, yes. we have to ask those questions. <laughs> All of um, is it almost opposite of v car insurance? So like the newer the car, the more expensive the insurance. But it, the, it can be. But the newer exactly. the home, the less expensive the yep, insurance. Because be like, it's less a, likely of things. Less likely. Yeah. 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 Ah, okay. Exactly. So if it's older and it hasn't been updated, you can expect that you're probably looking at a pricier policy because the insurance company feels that there's more of a risk. Mm -hmm. There's more likely to be the that plumbing leak or that you know, mm. part of the roof is going to come off on our, our next windstorm uh, versus a brand new build. If somebody doesn't have flood insurance on their home and they were to get mm -hmm. flood insurance with you right now, how, and we had a flood tomorrow, when mm -hmm. does the insurance... 30 days. Is it 30 well, days? So it Bob's over there the answering. Like, you're, I know. you're in. Um, the, the program through FEMA or the National Flood Insurance Program does have a 30-day wait if you're purchasing it not in a loan transaction. Mm -hmm. We do have private flood insurance options. Some of them have a one-day wait. Some of them wow. have a 10-day wait. Mm. Um, so it just yeah. really depends. Okay. The private companies are the first ones to essentially put a moratorium in place or shut it down if there's a risk where the National Flood Insurance Program does not. 
but you know we had when we went through the Orville Dam situation we had a lot of calls come in Mm -hmm. a lot of people purchasing policies but the problem was the only option was the National Flood Insurance Program so we had a 30 30 day wait yeah and so Uh, if something would have happened mm -hmm. the policy wouldn't have covered it gotcha so I want to I want to go back real quick to home ownership like I I, want to address again first-time buyers or, or ones that like guys that just got out of the military and have the GI Bill but they've never owned a home before and they're looking for yep. a way to do that through Freedom Mortgage so one more time does the age of the home matter when it comes to to uh, generally financing? speaking no okay um, if you are dealing with some older homes there can become health and safety issues mm. oh. um, that turn into whether they're water leaks or roof sag and are just all, all different things that can come up that come up on an appraisal and if it does come up on appraisal then we have to have those things fixed or corrected obviously we're talking older homes have a more likelihood of those things coming into play conventional is the most flexible loan so when someone's trying to buy a home they're going to flip and they may they may go for a conventional fha and va have a little bit more uh, restrictive guidelines on health and safety when it comes to those things. So if I'm Mariah, which is a big stretch right there, <laughs> but, but and, and I just started my insurance business, right? So I own a home, but now I want to buy a building to, for my insurance. Does Freedom Mortgage handle that? And would that make a difference if you were a first-time buyer? So uh, if I like buy a commercial, commercial building? Pub, yeah, no. is it going to make a difference to you whether it's my first time or? Uh, no, commercials, commercial, ag, those things are really more local banks and mm. a couple places that are... Um, more yeah free, most so lenders is that, that you not hear something around, you do no most oh, places okay. you hear around town aren't going to be traditional lenders or direct lenders or brokers you're not they're not going to do anything mostly but residential gotcha generally speaking but first time buyers know. there's a lot to talk about especially va clients um va is just the in my opinion pretty much the best loan out there people still don't realize you have you need nothing down on a va loan you don't pay mortgage insurance which on an what? FA, yeah, on an FHA loan. They have my wife and I are both Vietnam vets. Neither of us have ever used our VA and we've owned mine. The, the loan I have now, I pay six hundred and sixty seven dollars a month. And VA can't even get there, so yeah, it's, it's just the way it is. VA I mean, really has aggressive rates. It's probably a lot of it's due to the market and the climate right. in which yeah. you've refinanced or purchased. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know rates back when fire has fire happened, people were buying homes, but our mm-hmm. rates were about a percent higher than they are now. Yeah, where are the rates right now? Now they're in the upper threes, probably three okay. seven, three eight right now. Um, that's generally speaking, VA sometimes comes in a little lower. Um, so if you bought at four and a quarter and you were to refinance now, is it worth or is it worth to refinance great, for that one percent? Great question. Yeah. You're generally looking for all the smart minds will tell you half of a percent, but I try to edge clients more to three quarters to a full percent okay. of, of savings because you still pay, you still wrap a little extra into your loan when you mm-hmm. do a refinance. Oh yeah. Okay. So you want to make sense in that recoup time of what you spent to get it back. You want it to be usually two to three years so that you recoup and then you save money on the last oh, 20 okay. plus years. So it, it's and anybody really, that maybe got a home affordable would during that the bubble popping is that are they allowed to refinance or is that some have you had anybody come absolutely to refin- refinances are always looked at what's my current market value versus right. what i owe mm-hmm. and that is most of the risk in addition to that what's my credit score gotcha. yeah because my like home that. went from worth 50 cents to <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's 600 dollar mortgage my a lot goodness of people are sitting on a lot of equity right now so they're either yeah. sometimes cashing out to do some upgrades on the home or zero out some debt maybe they've occurred uh secondly they've also taken that profit mm-hmm. rolled it into another home sold and right. and bought another home so if i came to freedom mortgage right and i, again, I don't know if i'd let you walk in. and i <laughs> and i, I own the business and told you that you look 12 the entire <laughs> time i would say i don't know how to spell so you got to go to the next guy <laughs> so can i refinance my home and put the equity in a business or the equity in something else is there are there are there things that you have to say 
No, if you take your equity out, we're going to tell you how to spend it. Nope. How does that work? Nope. Cash out refinance is just that. However much equity you have, a VA home loan will allow you to cash out 100% of the new value. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you only loan. So FHA, it's your money. Yeah. FHA and conventional, only 80% of that new loan. So if you have a $100,000 value mm -hmm. of a home, you can only pull an $80,000 loan. Uh -huh. Right? So if you go out and you have a VA loan and you really wanted to apply it to a business to start up, I've done this for quite a few people. I won't name names in town so it's like because i don't know if they want me saying so list them yeah <laughs> um you you basically can cash that out and that is your money to go spend wherever you want yeah so there you go you can help me with my business <laughs> i was thinking about that cammy that was really where i she's was she's got going. this got the contract ready for you to sign i do i do hold on X. so th does that make a difference with my insurance mariah so i i refinance my home i got my insurance with you all the good stuff right but i refinance how do you get involved in that if I change uh, what I'm currently doing? So the only concern on the insurance side is just making sure that we have the correct mortgage company listed on your policy. But outside of that, the insurance really, we don't have a clue how much you uh, owe on, on your home. We don't really know what the current market value is. And that's because in, for insurance, we're interested in insurable value mm -hmm. so what it so if we're talking a home what is it going to cost to rebuild that home right so in the market value it could be completely different um you know, we talk a lot about what uh -huh. the reconstruction cost would be for a home in the bay area well it might only be five or six hundred thousand but the home's worth one and a half million because of the current real estate market is, is that why so many people in paradise right now are getting their their payouts from the insurance company but it's not enough to replace what they had yeah, so what we're seeing with these major fires, so mm -hmm. Santa Rosa, Paradise, uh, Car Fire up in Reading, so, is yeah. the real build, rebuild costs have gone up so much that mm -hmm. the policies couldn't handle it. Right. So insur home insurance policies normally have a, a built-in cushion, so some, a little bit of extra money in case costs unexpectedly rise. Well, we are seeing such a surge in pricing that we're looking at normally insuring a home, let's say two to three hundred dollars a square foot. Well now the rebuild cost is six hundred dollars a square right. foot. And yeah. there's just not enough money there in the policies. Um, so we're seeing a lot of insurance companies go through, try to update, you know, try to cover the homes for more. But the the demand is just so high for contractors and yeah. for building supplies. We know yeah. some flippers and people mm -hmm. that are just, you know, trying to get work. It's just, it's difficult, just basic stuff mm -hmm. to get done, repairs on homes if they're in contract, mm -hmm. wanting to get a little dry rot fixed. I have one right now, and all of a sudden right. it's like we, we're having a hard time finding somebody because I guess work is just so, and, you know, people bleed out to certain spots where they're paying more. So it's just... Right. It, it, so we've difficult. got some changes that, that are happening, and I don't want to run out of time because I definitely want to ask this. I want both of you to answer this question, and that is um, for, for whatever the homeowner, whether refinance or whatever, what's coming down the pike as far as what you can see? I realize that you don't have a crystal ball. Oh, I do. But oh, you do. <laughs> right, so, so, so what do you see coming? And Mariah, the same with you. With things changing in California, and it just seems like every time we turn around, everything is more expensive. So I'd like both of you to kind of address what do you guys see coming down the pike, and is there a way that we can mitigate that? I'll answer you as far as interest rates uh mba which is mortgage bankers association mm -hmm. they're assuming rates for through the next 12 18 months to be pretty flat okay we're still in a volatile market with the stock market and just things we're coming into election mm -hmm. year oh yeah, um, yeah election years generally speaking from all you know traders and day traders people that talk they'll say yeah. they're really propped up so usually they try to keep the market from doing anything mm -hmm. crazy but they're still big up and down days and that means one day i'm quoting somebody three seven five right. on a rate and then the next week we have a big move in the market we're at four percent you know right. it's just relative to when you lock it's yeah. not a hey i'll tell you today and if you haven't found a house in three weeks and rates moved a little bit i, I may not be quoting that same rate right. so not until you lock but generally speaking, we're, we're expecting a fairly flat market um, in rates through the now, next year. I know year. elections do that. I know they, they make changes. Does it make a difference whether an incumbent gets reelected or a new person comes in? Does it, is the market different in both those circumstances? Um, yeah, a lot of, so people always think, you know, I'll squash this fallacy here. People call me all the time um, when I'm refinancing them or purchase and feds cut rates. Mm. Oh, are the, are the rates, 
quarter percent lower? I'm like, nope. Um, <laughs> they're not. That's a bank trading amongst a bank rate. Mm-hmm. That is right. not yes, consumer yes. lending. Uh-huh. So um, it's really uh, the best way I've heard it described is it's projection. Um, they're projecting inflation mm-hmm. of what they think the market will do. So that's part of what affects rates and then also like a geopolitical climate. Right. So it's a lot of future projection of what we think the strength of our economy is right. that will people putting their their money into bonds or not, you know, which is affects our rates. Got it. So if if an incumbent, which in this case for us would be President Trump. So there are people that are going to view his staying in office is going to have a certain effect on the economy versus him going out of office, regardless of who comes in. Yes. And so they try to project that. Yes. And then uh, uh, the feds do so they can set the market because they don't want it to just go everywhere. So yeah. what about insurance? What's coming down the pike for my car insurance? Other than the fact <laughs> I just got that speeding ticket. Other than that, Mariah. <laughs> you know, was it Pablo that got you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pablo, my own son, wrote me up. <laughs> you know, I love that boy. It's been a very, very interesting uh, couple of years in the insurance market in California. A lot of that is due to the fires. Mm-hmm. Um, so truly, I-, I think the consumer is going to continue to see some raising rates. Um, Insurance companies are trying to recoup money, Mm -hmm. both on the home and and the auto side. Um, And we continue to see a rise in auto accidents and the cost of the cars uh, rising. I mean, really, cars these days are computers on wheels. So (laughs) there's so many sensors and, and, and bumpers and backup cameras and that. We're going to continue to see costs. So what the consumer can do is continue to review their policy. Um, You know, if you're seeing a decent increase, uh, shop around. Call someone like myself, an independent agent. We work with a bunch of different companies. We can shop all of them at once for you and see what we can find. Um, If you're one of our our current clients, we're already doing that for you because we're monitoring it. Um, But uh, basically, the consumer should be prepared that there's going to be some continued increases. And if you happen to be someone that's in the foothills or in mountain mm-hmm. areas, more so. you're going to be hit harder and you need to be prepared yeah. for the fact that you may be losing your current coverage. Um, we have and They options. can do that? Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, they can just say we're canceling? You? They'll, they'll call it non-renewal. So the, on the, the next time that you would have renewed, the company can choose to not do that and we're seeing that happen in droves is there a name for that where they take it yearly and then just cut you they just kind of it's, 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 no, it's non-renewal so that's drop. Um, yeah, the name is cheesy <laughs> <laughs> so um, you for that we, but we they're do a, a business too so, sure yeah. oh, okay. business yeah. and we're trying to help folks the but best I guess that we can i didn't realize that they could do that yeah that's, they, they well, can don't you have an advantage mariah in the sense that you're not a company Mm-mm. so if somebody is looking for insurance and are having difficulty with a particular company you may be connected with which right. I really cracked up I went in your office and I saw these I started singing the commercials for the different <laughs> yeah. right? but it is better with a broker that. right because then you're not and I'm not gonna say any names because I I have State Farm I love State Farm I've had it since I, I was 17 you weren't gonna say names. well I'm saying I'm not gonna but okay but Goodness you are gracious. stuck with I'm, I was gonna say other names but I, I was like I can say that because Honestly, I stay there because I love I love my my lady there. But mm-hmm. you're stuck with just what they have to offer, as opposed That's to like right. you said, going to a broker for anything: life insurance, health insurance, uh, home insurance, car mm-hmm. insurance. You can yeah. shop ev- all the companies and find out and not just be stuck. And, and the great thing is we're able to build relationships with mm-hmm. our clients. And when one company no longer works for you, we're able to help you get placed with another. But you still get us. We still right. know what's happening with your family, with your account. So we can help make that move. Is it possible for someone that got a non-renewal to not be insurable just because of where they live? Is that a thing? So It only with depends or, on if they have three boys. Uh, <laughs> I'm not so insurable. With, with, the, insurance is <laughs> with the home insurance, we can place them with the California Fair Plan. So what oh, that okay. is is essentially an association that was created after the uh, Watts riots for properties that were considered uninsurable. Okay. So we can get that there's a whole mix of we have to buy that policy and then another policy to create a normal homeowner's policy and you need Um, like a second job to afford it 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 can be pricey um Uh, it was considered people it's are you moving to crisis no but i just like that makes me so sad um you know there was just an insurance rally this last saturday at the the capitals um kind of trying to get 
um, our elected officials to really understand what's happening. And when you have people crying in your office because they yeah. cannot yeah. afford this, yeah, absolutely, I mean, it, yeah. it's oh a problem. So, I'll try yeah. not to do that. <laughs> and then pg and E's turning off the power to yeah, try to uh, mitigate some of it. I don't know if it's good it, or bad. It's, but. it's been a really, really tough year with insurance. Yeah. So we're really hoping to see the market stabilize some. Yeah. Um, and premiums are never going to be what they were you know, prior to, to the, the campfire. Um, so you know, we're never going to return to that. We're just hoping for them to settle stabilize. down, yeah. stabilize, and let, let's adjust to that new normal. But right now, the, the marketplace is in flux. Um, we only got a couple of minutes, and I, and I have to ask this one from both of you, and that is, no matter who you are, if, if I come in, Jeremy, and say, hey, I'd like an appointment to talk to you. I just want to know if it's a good idea for me to refinance. Or, Mariah, can I come in and say, regardless of my insurance company, say, say can i ask you about my insurance does that consultation cost anything from either one of you and uh, yeah. is it something you experience yeah um people often come in and i honestly encourage them to come in sooner than later huh. all too often i get the call hey jeremy these people are looking they just on the whim found this house online and they need to qualify right now and they want to put an <laughs> offer tonight and i'm like okay make sure they have this 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 and this get them in my office I'll, i mean i even i've saved deals at times where you know other lenders can't perform or their their underwriter doesn't like something i mean i had they halfway knew them they came over my house at 10 30 at night and i was taking an application just to make sure because it was a quick close and you had to do it so people can come in no matter if they're doing it or not we would rather get people on the right path mm -hmm. now so Good. if they find something two three four months uh, uh, six months or if i have to advise them on credit or something it's important that we have a little bit of time to work with. It's better than zero time. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll remember that when I <laughs> and, and that one other question, so that if someone is wanting to buy a home, let's say they're like, okay, I know I can't buy a home right now. Can they go to you and say, tell me what I need to do so that maybe next year I can buy a home and you'll be my lender? And you set them up to get credit fixed and what... There is, I'm being attacked by our desk. The, the piece of splinter <laughs> shot me. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I'm, it just got me again. Okay. There are, so there are so Ladies many, there are so many staff fallacies. Staff and management are not responsible for some of the marks. That made. <laughs> There's so many fallacies. People come in and they're like, oh, I thought you still had to have 20% down. I'm like, no, yeah. no, no. First time buyers, 3% all day long. Oh. First time, first time buyers also have access to down payment assistance programs. Um, in addition, people come in. Yeah, well, I just switched my job, so I know I needed to be on there for six months. I was like, no, you I don't. I it was a year. No. That was my perception. You need to have I can't tell you how many loans. I can't tell you how many loans people have switched jobs and haven't even started, whether they're coming from East Coast or switching. They don't even have a first paycheck, and we can close their loan. It's just because it's I projected, it. projected salary. Projected income. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, absolutely. And historical, obviously. You, you look can't back go some, from, but, yeah. It, yeah, if you're dealing with a variable type earnings, and I won't go into all of it, but yeah, yeah, commissions, yeah. bonuses, yeah, those are harder to, you have to look back and average. But if somebody says, hey, I got an $80,000 salary of a new job, I get a letter from employer, we're closing that loan. Oh, very cool. It's that simple. If I get so, a job for $80,000, <laughs> My first stop's going to be Cabo. <laughs> Patty and I are going on the Listen, I got a very short amount of time. We're already into the song. Mariah, I want to make sure that we get you to answer that same question. Sure. Is it okay? And do you encourage it to come in and say, hey, look, regardless of what their insurance situation is, can is that information free? Oh, of course. Okay. Uh, always free. Happy to help. Um, you know, we do a lot of reviewing of policies and we can make suggestions. And sometimes the suggestion is, you should stay where you're at, yeah. but we think maybe you need to tweak here and here. Um, you know, our idea is we do what's best for the client, person sitting in front of us. Um, we don't do what's what's best for our bottom line because if I do what's best for, for people, m my bottom line will yeah, rise exactly. in the end. Um, so we're happy to do that. And, uh, you know, we even work with, you, you mentioned some other agents. You know, if we feel like we don't have the right fit, but I know somebody else does, I'm happy to refer you, you down yeah. the road. Appreciate you guys coming on. I've got a, a song to go out with. Uh-oh. 